Hey, 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 my lovely. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Daily Vibration. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name is Kamoy, and we're doing the Daily Vibration for today, July 4th, 2021. So happy 4th of July to you. That is something that you celebrate. And I just want to say, y'all, we are at day number 98. We got two more days left to go on our journey. So if you had started this journey with us 98 days ago, you should not be at the same place that you were 98 days ago. Something, something, something about you should have changed, should have grown. You should have created a new habit. You should have tapped into some more self-love. You should have accomplished a goal, okay? So these past 98 days, you should not be the person that you were at day one all right so you definitely want to stop you want to pause you want to give yourself a pat on the back for that you want to give yourself a big hug for that you want to look at yourself in the mirror and say you go girl or you got it do okay do i'll see you i see you you know give yourself an applause give yourself an applause for checking into you give yourself an applause for showing up for you for the past 98 days now if you have not been joining us for the past 98 days what you can do is you can go all the way back to day one you can find all of that amazing content on my youtube channel as well as um any of my podcast um episodes okay so now we also, guys, have coming up on August 7th, uh, the Trust in Your Intuition and Communicating with the Spiritual Realm classes. I'm super excited about that. Uh, we're going to be tapping into your clears and exactly how you communicate uh, to the spiritual realm and how to communicate, um, how the spiritual world communicates with you uh so we'll be talking about that we'll be talking about what karma is and what it's not we're going to be talking about everything um that you can utilize within your spiritual uh toolbox and to you know to communicate uh we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff uh in that class so i'm super excited about that that is going to be starting on um August 7th okay so if you guys are interested you definitely want to go ahead and shoot me an email at the number four your inner voice at gmail.com and uh, you can let me know and save yourself a slot all right so there is a $50 deposit required and that is due by next Friday okay uh, so you have to have your $50 in by next Friday and the full deposit okay of the balance of 150 is going to be due um, by the uh, 6th of August okay so let's get into this it's Sunday y'all it's listed Sunday it is our last listed Sunday together for a little while okay we will be circling back again for another 100 days towards the end of the year um, so we can launch a uh, Google um, independence right stepping into the new season in Aries of 2022 so you guys can look forward to that we're probably going to be starting around uh, November okay um, but we'll be doing a few things in the meantime okay the sun is currently still positioned in cancer we still guys uh, have the moon in Taurus okay Taurus the moon entered Taurus yesterday at around 8.28 a.m. where I am okay um, now I want you to keep in mind, we also have running through the date today. We have the hour of memory, so you can go ahead and tap on into that aspect of yourself. Uh, where you are able to maximize the numbers three, six, and nine, okay? Uh, you can maximize those numbers. Uh, and then we also have the arrow of practicality running through the date today. So that is where we have all three gateways uh, open to you. So we have the gateway of the practical plane, the doing plane, the physical plane uh, with the number one. We have the uh, soul plane with the number two. Uh, and we also have um, uh, showing up today. Um, um, the number four in the date which is in the middle of the uh physical plane right and you have the number seven also showing up today um which is the uh closing number on the physical plane so you have a lot of um, numbers in the atmosphere today where you'll be able to tap into your mastery right by doing so you got a lot of physical energy in the atmosphere today. So you may be required to do um, some things on the physical front today. So keep that in mind. Rule the number of the day is also the number seven. Okay. So we're also talking about balancing your chakras here. Inner work. Okay. Inner work is what we're going to be talking about. Uh, so it's day number 98. 
And just looking at the overview of the elementals, I can tell you right now that they're asking you today to stop and think before you do anything. All right, so there's change here. Um, there's always change to be cultivated, but you're really asked today to really stop and think and check in with yourself before you take action, right? So if you're new to the channel, um, I just want to go ahead and explain. Uh, if you are not new to the channel, this is something that you hear me talk about, which I repeat pretty much in all daily vibrations, okay? So you are not just responsible for mastering uh, your sun sign, aka the month that you were born. You are also responsible for mastering all 12 aspects of the, the other 11 aspects of the zodiac wheel. So you got to master all 12 zodiac sign and not so much by becoming that sign but more so by the archetype or the energy in which that sign rules okay because that energy is also energy that you have within you that is also part of your makeup all right so what we study here in this channel is allegories archetypal energy and the connection to the spiritual realm okay and we also study the invisible realm what you may call space what you may call god what you may call buddha what you may call allah right where you may call dark matter it doesn't really it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what label you place on it right but we're talking about energy from the realm of the unseen okay so when you hear me talk about the water energy because we are in cancer season so we're going to start off with the water energy when you hear me talk about the water energy or the water element i am talking about the energy of cancer scorpio and pisces all right but you don't have to be a water sign to tap into this energy all right so you can tap into this energy or to this archetypal energy by tapping into your feelings tapping into your emotions all right i'm outside with the birds y'all they sound so beautiful okay now when you hear me talk about the fire element or the fire energy or the fire signs right i'm talking about aries leo as well as sagittarius but if you are not an aries a leo or a sagittarius you're going to be tapping into this energy based on the archetype of being able to take action this is movement okay so that's where you're going to apply this message all right now when you hear me talk about the earth signs that is going to be taurus capricorn and virgo but if you are not a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo, you can still tap into the Earth element or the Earth archetype, right? By tapping into the physical realm, the practical realm, the doing realm, okay? Well, you have to be practical and logical, okay? Now, when we're tapping into the ear element, right, we're talking about Gemini's energy. We're also talking about Libra's energy and then we're talking about Aquarius's energy all right and if you are not a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius you can go ahead and utilize this energy to the aspect of what you think okay this is the intellect realm the thinking realm okay so that is how you're going to apply the elements to you so you don't necessarily have to apply one message you can utilize all of the elements to move throughout your day the the most important thing is that you take what you need you leave what you don't and what you don't understand you go ahead and put that on the shelf so in case you need to circle on back when you do gain more understanding and apply it you have the opportunity to do so okay so starting off today we have the two of earth popping up on here saying that there's change happening now this is where you begin to bring things into organization this is where you begin to prioritize things and really place energy only on the things that are important okay so when you begin to prioritize things you really start to shift through what's important and what's not what's needed and what's not what's useful and what's not okay so getting organized okay being able to focus your energy so you can be able to obtain growth and allow that change to come in being able to place your attention only in the things that's going to yield you what you want emotionally okay so emotionally you're saying embrace the change get organized in your feelings all right you want to embrace the change you want to become more practical in how you do things um ca uh, categorized prioritized is what you need to do with your emotions as you're moving throughout the day today okay now when it comes to you being able to take action however you know as you're checking into your emotions and you're prioritizing and you're becoming organized what you need to pay attention here uh especially when you're taking action my love you gotta pay attention to the four of fire energy which is all about contemplation i like to call this your coming to jesus moment or your coming to buddha or coming to allah moment or whatever your spiritual path is but this is really where you get into a place of contemplation 
right? You get into a place of contemplation, okay? And you really begin to, you really begin to think here, okay? And whenever I see this and I think about, you know, um, and this is a four fire energy. This is really coming into a place of con- um, completion, I don't know why I said four of, uh, I thought it was four of swords, y'all. I really should have brought my glasses out here with me. I'm sorry. This is after the four of fire. Right? And four of fire energy can represent family. That can represent, um, that can represent uh, community. That can also represent marriage, you know? And this is all about completion, things that complete you, things coming together to make a whole, okay? Now, um, so you got fire energy also representing energy of action, right? So today when you're moving within your action, you want to know that if you embrace the change emotionally, right, and you move forth in actions today, you need to know that you will be able to complete some things, right? You will be able to shift through the energy and prioritize and give the, the actual focus to what's needed without being distracted, which means that you will be able to go into work today and not take things personal. You will be able to have a conversation today and not take things personal. You will be able today to move and operate within the realm, right? of you knowing that you're creating from the unseen. And it, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. The, the most important things is, thing that matters is what you think and what you feel, right? Because your thinking and your feeling is a impression or an indication on your belief system, okay? So you need to understand that. And it's okay for you to create your own belief system right now. I gotta be honest with you. Take what you need from, you know, you can take a little bit from, you know, the Christian area. You can take a little bit from the Buddhist area. You can take a little bit from the Hindu area, right? And and really understanding at a whole that each one of these aspects is really beautiful in its own nature, you know? Each one of these aspects is really beautiful in its own nature. It's really teaching the origin and the truth of who you are, which really takes you to the place of within, so move today within your action knowing that you're going to be completing things. And you're going to be completing things because you're going to be prioritizing things emotionally. Okay, so you need to move with that knowing today. Now when it comes to the physical realm and, 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 and being practical and, you know, and being logical, you do have the small medicine wheel showing up in reverse here. And when this shows up, once again, this is to ask you to not allow your past to hold you back. But it's showing up in reverse, which means that you got to be mindful of how much external, you know, um, conversation is coming in. You know, that's really allowing you to not trust yourself and make the choices and decisions that's best for you. All right. So in the physical realm today, watch the outer influences today. Watch maybe how much you share about what you're doing, right? Especially if you feel the need to trust yourself and you don't really want to doubt or judge. Watch how much you share today. That's going to be important, all right? That's really going to be important. The small medicine wheel really asks you to take a look at your your um your past is asking you actually to take a look at your your um your north side your south side your, you know your east side, your east side and your west side right it is taking a look, asking you to take a look at the cycles in your life that south side is asking you like what from the past are you clinging to so in the physical realm is literally asking you what from your past are you clinging to the West Side is asking you what toxic relationships in your life that you, you, you can go ahead and release because they're draining you. Hmm? What toxic relationships can you release because they're draining you? Your North Side is asking you, man, look, listen, are you really walking in what you want to be walking in? Are you walking in your passion? Are you walking in your joy? Are you walking in your fulfillment? Are you walking in your wholeness? Or are you waiting for somebody to hand that to you? Right? Your east side is saying, okay, you got your passion, you got your dream, you got what you want to do. Now, how are we doing on the visualization of how we move in in this next chapter? Like, what's the plan for the next chapter? Do we even have a vision or plan of how we want this to look and unfold in the next chapter? 
Are we going to partake and be participants in how this unfolds in the next chapter? Right? Four Fire also asks you to pay attention to your um, participation. So even when you're going back to the, the physical realm, it's still asking you to take responsibility for how you participate, right? Things can come to an end and it can be completed, but it's really contingent in how you move. So when we hop on over to the ear element that talks about your thinking um, and your intellect, right? This energy is saying it's the hermit. You got hermit energy popping up here. Hermit energy is asking you to be self um reflective be interest you know introspective take a look at yourself first look at how you're thinking about the situation first look at how your, your your perception is on this particular person you know on this particular dream on this particular vision on this particular goal on this particular relationship take a look at how you see these things not so much projecting outwardly or leaving yourself open for others to project to you right so as you're moving throughout the day today you have on the emotional level is saying embrace the change become organized with how you're going to uh, focus your emotional energy today all right on the fire element level what we're talking about your actions today is really asking you to step into that four fire energy that's completion that's building a community that's groups okay that's also being able to pay attention to how you're participating in these groups we got completion energy popping up on here you know we can get things done today just prioritize when it comes to the physical realm today it's saying to you just be mindful not to take in too much you know other people's opinion and don't don't deal with the negative energy don't deal with the negative self-talk don't deal with the negative um conversations today don't deal with the lower vibrational energy today if you don't have to okay next thing that you have to pay attention to is your thoughts be into introspective okay be introspective Remember, you got the arrow of practicality running through the date today. Activating all three numbers on the physical plane. Number one, number four, and number seven. You also have the the, um, arrow of memory going through the date. Okay? All right. So, you know, we are day number 98, guys. The birds are just singing out here today. We got two more days left on our level up journey. So as you're listening it today... Listen, knowing that you have an opportunity to be a uh, co-creator. You know, you have an opportunity to create and see things and have a different view of how you want things to unfold in your life. Allow yourself that privilege. Okay? All right, my loves. Y'all know the deal, right? You want to go ahead and do something kind for yourself. You want to love yourself. Um, you want to honor yourself, okay? I am going to be on Clubhouse on Thursdays at 8 p.m. So y'all want to go ahead and find me, okay? Uh, you can find me on the Universal. Make sure you spell Universal with S-O-L at the end, okay? Um, and then you also want to go ahead. So it's Universal Healing. Um, and then you also want to go ahead and make sure that you tap one in to yourself today. All right. Don't be afraid of the dark. Out of darkness comes enlightenment. Appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's daily vibration. Bye, my loves.